<laughs> Y'all already know who I got with me. Greg is officially out of here. Hey, hit that follow button though. I'm trying to get my street fan up here. Hit that it follow is. button. No <laughs> pop tag for him. Just kidding. Um, pop tag going on right now. Um, big game tonight. Uh, state championship game. Six day state championship game. Not really surprised about what took place the last few days. Uh, we saw Shadow Mountain get crowned. Uh, although it was an exciting game. Me and you talked about that too. Uh, South Point. Um, because they were able to take advantage of Majuk and uh, Evan Olsen, um, you know, keep them in the game as long as possible and let them control the ball, let them control the tempo. They were able to keep the game close. They handled that business. Um, unfortunately, they came up a little bit short. Shadow Mountain got another ring for the collection and um, also Sunny Slope. Uh, slope. Back to back. Slope goes back, went back to back. And uh, really, I mean, that Slope team, it, they played so well defensively, Chili. They held every single opponent in the playoffs to under 40 points, and that's how you win championships. Facts only, and we're about to find out, you know, uh, what's gonna happen in the 6A state title game. Uh, we've got the young legend, Spencer Rattler. That's one. Uh, the Nico Show. Uh, I've been looking forward to this game forever, Chili. I mean, you're talking about two teams with some of the most talented players in the state of Arizona, and like you said about Nico, yeah, I know he's a sophomore, but the kid is the real deal. I watched him take over an entire fourth quarter against a Brophy team who was only a couple plays away for being in this state championship game. The kid could score any way possible. But Mountain Point, they have the most athletic guards. And what? But Mountain Point, they have the most athletic guards. And huh? What? I can't hear you. But Mountain Point. They have the most athletic guards, in my opinion, in the state. Most athletic most guards? Athletic, I mean, you're talking most about athletic athletic guards? Price, more athletic Cash, than Spencer Rattler, the young Cash, legend, the so quarterback, committed to Oklahoma. Sala Thomas, all these guys, they're all known for their offense, but all of them can play defense, and they get after it, Chili. I'm really excited to see what happens. Yo, I think somebody's calling you on that. Uh, uh -oh. Yeah, the basketball gods here, you talking. <laughs> The basketball guys here, you're talking reckless about uh, most athletic guards, especially when one of the opposing guards is committed to Oklahoma on a football scholarship. See, that's, that's going to be the key for me. And Nico Mann is an all-world guard. That's the key here. Can Mount Point stop those players? Can they limit? Because I don't know if they're going to stop them. Rattler and Mannion can get theirs. But the key for Pinnacle tonight, they need other players. Step Trent up. Brown! Trent Brown can step up. Mason Johnson, 6'7", center, power forward they have down there. Jordan! He can score. He can score. Jordan Maines? Yeah! It's stud. Stud. But... He's acting up right now. He's acting like you don't know. DeAndre Henry, Jalen Graham, 6'7", 6'9". The pride is coming. They're coming. Pride's coming. Watch out. No, I got Pinnacle by 7. Young got, legend, Nico Show. Ooh, I got Mount Point by five. It's gonna be a close game, neck and neck. I think they have what it takes to get it done. Two minutes in the fourth quarter. I really think the Pride are gonna be your 6A state champions. That is proof, kids, that drugs kill. Who, who do you got in the, in the big game, 6A state championship? Young legend Spencer Rattler, the Nico Show, or does I, I, Mountain Point win? Do they prove that cash is king and the price is right? You know, I, I really don't know. I mean, it's one of those games that, be anybody. No one's really proven himself this year to be that much better than you know anybody else. So we'll really see. I mean, I think Nico might pull off some real clutch moves though. So I might have to pin him. So I've already gotten the opinions of uh, Arizona Finals mixtape and my boy Senator Cody Cameron. And you know, ain't no vlog complete, no sideline vlog is really complete without the general Greg Rosenberg. So what do we got? The Nico show. Young legend, or does Mountain Point prove that cash is king? I like Pinnacle, but I, I think they will force Spencer, Trent, and Jordan to beat them. If those three can hit some shots collectively, Pinnacle wins them. If I mean, they're struggling to shoot, he's gonna, they're going to take the ball out of people's hands. I mean, if football season told us anything about Spencer Rattler, it's that he plays his best in the biggest game. So, you know, we're about to find out what the Young Legends made out of. Uh, right now, the girls game is going on. We'll be right back. In the big game, Young Legend, the Nico Show versus Mountain Point. What's your take on this Mountain Point team? I really like the Rich. He's going to do a great job this fall. They got a lot of returning players, all their skill players. All right, so we got a huge game. Uh, 6A State Championship, uh, Spencer Rattler, Nico 
Michael Mannion versus uh, Amari and Cass and uh, Glenn Bright. What's your take? What, what kind of game is Nico going to have to play in order to win this game here? Just a huge opportunity for Nico. Obviously, one of the best players in the country. Has had a tremendous year. Has performed all year. And just a great opportunity for him. Really excited for him. There's no way under God's hot sun that Mountain Point is just going to let Nico Mannion take this game over. Are you expecting like a 10, 12 assist night for him? Yeah, no, great opportunity. Nico loves big moments and he strived, remember, as an eighth grader, winning the Under Armour 15 U division. And whenever the big moment comes, Nico always steps up to the challenge. So I would expect him tonight to step up to the challenge and I'm predicting a Nico Mannion and Pinnacle win. I predict that Pinnacle's gonna win this game by seven, so just validating that, I appreciate it. All right, so there it is, man. Everybody is over here telling me that, you know, Mountain Point has a chance, I don't think that they do, so I've just been validated by the smartest uh, high school basketball guy here in Arizona and him. So, hey, I know I know, I know what I'm talking about. All right, big folks, so who are you here to check out tonight? The Big State State Championship. Oh, man, I gotta see what my boy Nico talking about tonight, man. Hey, Everybody in the audience for the Nico show right now. Uh, stat line, what are you projecting? Yeah. What does he need to win? I can't see him scoring under 30, so I mean, we'll see though. It's a big game, so. What about the young legend Spencer Rattler, another dynamic guard on Pinnacle's roster? What, what do you see coming from him? Yeah, I, I, need, I think they both need to have big games if they're going to have a real legit chance to win this. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the show. We'll see. All right, man. Any way that Mountain Point wins this and proves that Cash is king. Oh, man. If they, I mean, if they guard, do what they do, anything's possible. You heard it from him. The price could be right. I will see them. And I can't forget about Star Lord. Um, for all you football players that want to add a star to your name, you holler at this guy right here, Pop Tag, now. So, what do you think? Everybody in the audience for the Nico show tonight, Phil and Cheatham's here. We got uh, Ryan Silver. I know some ASU football players are in the building. What do you think is going to happen? Mountain points hot, I go with the hot hands, period. So you believe that Cash is king? Yeah. According to him, the price is right. We'll find out. Shout out to AIA for uh, doing media right and hooking up the same as those. Got some beans and some coleslaw. So got some pulled pork and what do we got over here? I think we got some chicken working over here, man. Yeah. Are you vlogging this? He, he eating because he it. almost got that Shane McMahon like <laughs> top of the cage, like <laughs> elbow almost, drop. <laughs> almost, I got the broken chair out there to prove it. That one's going home in the trophy case. Oh. Oh.
accomplishment are you most proud of this season? Highest GPA. Finish with a state title. Yeah, GPA, that's what's going to get them later on because, you know, sooner or later basketball stops. So, you know, student athlete and then the state championship very close behind. What did you guys, what obstacles did you guys miss this year? You guys accomplished everything after dealing with injuries to your star player, to bench players. You got people from the football team coming back. What, what, what other hurdles did you need to overcome? You know, those are all the hurdles, and, and it's a process. It's four months. People don't realize that sometimes they really want to get going too early, and, and we really want to make sure that it's, it's four months and you want to be peaking right now, and I think we were. How does it set you up for next season? Uh, you know, they'll work hard, and, and uh, we'll just do the same process again and make sure that we're working hard and, and have the same goals, and we'll go for, you know, whatever we need to do for next year. How, how do you challenge the kids because they're still so young and they're still so much? Uh, their family, they, they like this, so I don't have to challenge them too much. And they're competitors. They're some of the greatest competitors I've ever had and I've ever coached, and they want to compete. How, how do you feel? What's the feeling like? Like I said, lots of words. I knew I knew we were going to do this since the beginning of the season. I'm just, I'm just overly excited right now. Me and my guys, we just turned up this game, and we, we went out on top. Cool. What was bigger for you, committing to Oklahoma or getting this ring? I mean, committing to Oklahoma is, is huge, but you know this is huge too. I'm not gonna be, you know, I'm not gonna be selfish. This is a great team thing for Pinnacle too, for the state. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys gotta breeze through this game. Yeah. What did you eat for breakfast? What, how did uh, the day start? Did I, have, I had a little ham and eggs. That's about it. And then I went off to school, and I didn't really eat nothing when I came home. I had a bowl of cereal, cinnamon, cinnamon toast crunch. I'm not mad. Uh, you know, which one of your teachers, you know, you want to shout out because I know you guys got the highest GPA. You guys are all like yeah. average. 4.0 GPA for every team. Which one of your teachers you want to shout out and show love to? Let's see. I'm going to shout out to Coach Dwayne. He's my guy. He's my uh, history teacher. He's our defensive uh, linebacker coach, too. Yeah. Was cool. how, how do you ride this way of going into football? Like I said, confidence. It doesn't matter what sport it is. We can come out here. We can do it on the field. We can do it on the court, whatever. Uh, we're going to come out confident just like this in the football season. Hopefully, I'm going to win the state championship, too. So, the young legend, how, what does this do for the legacy? It's crazy. It, it really does. I know I'm a strict, strictly a football player, but this just shows people I hoop too. And, uh, we, a little, we got a little, bit, a little oh, yeah. bit. Yeah, we gotta get that. Gotta get the ring. You and Nico look like you barely broke his foot, bro. Like, you guys look like you got that spray. I think those play. TV timeouts were helping us, but <laughs> just our connection is just crazy. It's crazy. Fair enough. I thought you get mad at him at the end though. Oh yeah. You know, you get a little selfish, trying to pull it here and there, trying to get his points. But that's my brother, so I love him. Man, you guys got off to the slow start. Yeah. Like six nothing. You know, was it nerves? What was it? Tom. Um, I'd say they just came out fierce. Uh, they came out off the bat, ready to go, energetic. And, uh, we came up a little lethargic, I'd say. We were trying to be calm. We just keep our but second quarter, we really turned it up. After Spencer hit that, what was two threes, yeah. he hit one to put you guys up by 10, then he hit another one to put you guys up by nine. But y'all didn't look back. At what point did you guys know that it was like? I'd say, I'd say when we got up, I think we got up 15 or 12. You know, they made a run, and we came right back at them, and we just kind of kept our lead. Ever since that, we kind of knew. I, I asked Spencer the same question, because it seemed like y'all kind of breezed through this. What did y'all do today in the schedule that kind of just had y'all so at ease? Um, I mean, we just been preparing for this for, this for, for a week. I mean, we had a whole week to prepare for this. We knew it was coming, we knew, we knew how they play, what they like to do, we watched film, we just we kind of studied that. So, I mean, it's like a test. You want to know everything that's going to happen. It's, it's, it's a lot easier. You're all world. You're all state. You're a state champion now. What's left for you to accomplish? You're just a sophomore. The well, Nico Show. Uh, What's left for the Nico Show? Uh, next three? up is a, I need an Under Armour championship. I need a UAA final. Oh, Yo, can Nico line up a wide receiver for you? I told you the other week, yeah. He was catching, tell him how you were catching it the other day in the locker room. He was catching that close, and I was spinning too. You know me, I'm a throw it. He was catching it too. More, who's got the more high octane offense, football or basketball? Be honest. Football.